It was happening outside Parliament today. Students at the University of Cape Town disrupted an examination hall earlier, demanding that President Jacob Zuma release the Commission on a Fee-Free Education and its viability. They then marched to Parliament, hoping to hear good news about tertiary fees for next year from the Finance Minister's midterm budget. Some protesters clashed with police. One student was arrested. All right, joining us from our Seapoint studios is President of the Student Representatives Council at the University of Cape Town, uh, Sepati Chabalala. Thank you for being with us, uh, Sepati. Uh, what were you hoping for today? Um, I'm sorry, could you repeat that? I was, I was hoping to respond. Thank you for having me on the show first. <laughs> no, no problem. So uh, yeah. let's, let's just be honest. It, it's a harder time for South Africa. The finance minister uh, painting these harsh realities of lower economic growth. Uh, but you want fee-free education as, as soon as possible. Are you being realistic? Mm. Um, ours is not to determine the realisticness of this agenda. And please do not call it free, free education. It's free education for all, and that is the call. Um, as students, we, are, we feel disheartened that the government hasn't even given us an answer or released the Fees Commission report to speak to this issue, and that shows the lack of interest in addressing our issue. I understand and I see, and, I, and I, I'm also disheartened as a citizen of this country that our budget is, is terrible at this point. Our growth rate is slacking, it's, it's, it's decreasing. However, as students, we are calling for something that, in, that impacts this directly. I am supposed to graduate and become a working person in this country to contribute to tax, to contribute to other means of social development by starting schools and so on and so forth. However, I am being held to a loan that this government gave as a solution to help black students to get into institutions of higher learning. We are being subjected to NISFAS loans. We are being subjected to loans outside with private banks and so on that give us ridiculous interest fees as students. While we are in our university, we are being subjected to getting jobs to, uh, to, to sort of afford a lunch because our parents are paying exorbitant fees and they can't even afford us to send monthly allowances. So when you ask about the rationality and me being fair to the government, I cannot answer that question adequately because there are other issues that are pressing to me as a student and to every student across this nation that the government is refusing to acknowledge. I cannot acknowledge, um, I ca again, I cannot answer on the fairness of us calling for free education. This is a right. This is not something that we are bargaining for um, out of nowhere. This is a right enshrined in our constitution. This is a right advocated for by our first black president, Nelson Mandela, who called for educating of all students. The, the president, uh, Jacob Zuma, is sitting with a report on the viability of a free education for all, as you say. Have you heard anything uh, about the delay? Uh, do you know anything about what is in that report? What, what's the buzz among students? Mm. So the saddest thing is students have no information about the report. Students did go to the commission and we submitted uh, proposals. In fact, at UCT, uh, uh, um, research, student-led research units were established called the Free Planning Education Group. And we went and made submissions to the commission again with findings that we made to fund free education for all. However, we have no idea what the Fees Commission report is going to say as the government has not released it to us. Our vice chancellors also give us the same answer so that they have not been given any further information on the report itself. And, and again, it's, it's, it shows the lack of political will in this country, that our leadership will not answer the pressing questions, that our leadership will let students march to parliament, be brutalized by police when they are making a simple call, release the report. We are not yet even saying that we are not accepting the decision of the report. We are saying, can we know what is in the report? And the deterring of the releasing of the report is a strategic move by governments and by vice chancellors in that the decision to increase fees will then come when we are away on vacation period and we have no means to take action. As the SRC president, I sit on an important university committee called council. However, that last meeting that will determine the fee increment sits in December. My term is over then. I am home for vacation. The new SRC president will not be available to make that decision on behalf of students. And that shows the bad faith that they negotiate in. The government must release this report. Vice-Chancellors of all institutions in this country must call for the release of this report.
Okay, so in the meantime, you are protesting. There was a march today. Uh, apparently some clashes with police and, and students at UCT, uh, some of the demonstrators disrupting an exam hall earlier. Is, is that sort of behavior necessary? Necessary. Every generation has a call. In 1976, the black students called for education in their own language. And people thought they were foolish to say that. However, they got it and look at me here. I am at an institution of higher learning because I finally got to be taught in my own language. The current call by students for free education is in, 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 in response to the social issues we're facing. We are being educated, we are getting certain degrees, however when, we, when we're trying to get those degrees we are being given exorbitant fees our parents cannot afford and that is reinforcing the systematic oppression of black people and that you will keep us in the spinning wheel of debt, of loans, of never flourishing. I am, le I am loaning against my future to get an education now and that is illogical. Um, demonstrations that happen on campus campus are always peaceful and they are always within reason. The issue we have on campus is always an issue of tensions rising and the management of every university has escalated this issue. This, it started when um, our vice chancellor signed Vita Scholar to come onto campus to end uh, the student protest and that set as precedent for all universities in this country to hire Vita Scholar, a paramilitary security private service. We don't understand why we are militarizing a space of learning. And that is the reason why we say the university negotiates in bad faith. We have always advocated for peace monitors. And at today's demonstrations, there were peace monitors. Wherever there was a bit of tension or so on, a peace monitor came, intervened, and sought this, the situation out. So when you say, is it necessary to disrupt? Yes, it's necessary to disrupt. It's a form of protest. It is not an, an, an unreasonable form of protest because unfortunately, if we allow other students to remain in classrooms and other students, we call on them to go to parliament, we will be victimizing those students that we are calling to go to parliament in that whatever academic requirements that they have that they do not meet, they will then be penalized. We are, we, the, the SRC moved and I can say confidently that the SRC led this particular disruption. Okay, thank you very much uh, for that explanation. Uh, that was the SRC president uh, from the University of Cape Town, Sepati Chabalala.